Amber Schaefer here with Rage in the Cage OKC News, and it is almost that time. Rage time is near. June 14th at the Oklahoma City Farmers Public Market, it'll be Rage in the Cage 66. And we've got none other than Caleb Nutty here. Um, this will be your second time officially fighting for Rage in the Cage. Um, you did do a uh, grappling match with us the very first time we saw you because your uh, fight fell through last minute. Yeah. So um, I, I told you this, I feel like I've known you forever, and here we are just um, having your second amateur fight, but it's because you've you're always there. You're always showing your support for other fighters, and so I get to see you quite often um, when you know anybody um, at Kudo Jiu Jitsu is fighting, then you're there. Yeah, we've, so. we've been really busy at Kudo Jiu Jitsu with Rage in the Cage recently. I mean, we've had a lot of grappling matches, you know. Uh, Waits Middle and Angela Rojas and Stephanie Madden, they've been really busy, you know, putting kudos on the map in these grappling matches for Rage. So it's been really exciting. And anytime any of my teammates are there, I'll, I'll definitely be there. You'll see my face. Well, and you know the, the weird thing about that is, is that um, when I first started at Rage in the Cage, um, I remember we had a pro grappling match where we actually had, you know, a big pro fighter come in. And we actually had people in the audience complaining, you know, they... Back then, they didn't understand the sport as well. It wasn't just as, um, it just wasn't back then what it is now. And, you know, people would be like, you know, oh, we come here to see cage fights, you know, yeah. and here we are seeing a grappling match. But, you know, again, it, it's just a different, um, it, it's just different now because so many people, um, MMA has just been put on the map and uh, Jiu Jitsu yeah. has been put on the map so much more now. And so fans look forward to that. And these fighters that come in, um, these competitors for jiu-jitsu, I mean, they bring out a big crowd of their own and sometimes people that have never seen the cage fights. Yeah, definitely. And so it's really um, been fun marrying the two and just seeing the response um, here in Oklahoma locally has been um, really good to see. Yeah, I definitely agree. Uh, I think people are just a little bit more conditioned now to uh, watch the submissions and the grappling. I mean, back in the day, they probably just Wanted to see, they wanted to see somebody swing on each other, you know? But I mean, MMA as a sport has grown so much since those days, and people were really excited about watching the wrestling, the, the judo, the jiu-jitsu, the grappling, the striking, all of it now, you know? Everybody's really getting with the getting with the program, you know what I mean? Well, I mean, we've seen it so much at Rage in the Cage, uh, because, you know, right now, all the venues that we're in have been too small for us. We sell out, um, Basically, the tickets are going on sale today. Um, you fighters are getting your tickets for June 14th, and I don't anticipate a couple of weeks down the line probably being sold out. At least that's been how we have been the past 12 events. So um, we definitely are seeing the growth of MMA locally. Um, we're seeing it right here at Rage in the Cage. And so um, it's an exciting time because I think that uh, definitely Oklahoma has put MMA on the map in this region, and we're just seeing so much growth in the sport. So as a fighter, just knowing that your fan base has grown so much, um, even in the past uh, couple of years, how does that make you feel? Uh, it feels good. I mean, it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, just just having my first fight, just having people come up to me and you know saying, "Oh, that was a good fight" or whatever, you know, that stuff's it's pretty cool, you know. And getting people that want to sponsor me and stuff like that, you know, it feels it feels great. Well, I know one thing. Um, at Rage in the Cage, when we have our sponsors there. And I don't know whether you've experienced this, but a lot of fighters will message me later and say thank you so much because as they're fighting and, you know, they have a really good uh, battle before them and, you know, they come out uh, winning. Mm -hmm. And the next thing they know, they got three or four sponsors because um, some of our sponsors also sponsor some of the fighters that yeah. are on our cards. And so um, and I know that fighters getting your first sponsor is huge. Yeah, so, for sure. Especially early on in your career. Yeah, most definitely. Uh, None of the Rage in the Cage sponsors have sponsored me yet, but Dang hey, it. Uh, Umbrella Corporation, watch out for me, okay? <laughs> yeah, they've been uh, with us for quite a while, yeah. so um, I know that, um, yeah, I'm just trying to go through like all the pro fighters like Lamont, some of our fighters um, sponsored him for some uh, quite a while yeah. while he was fighting for Rage in the Cage. Um, so, obviously you train at uh, Kudos Jiu Jitsu and um, you've really enjoyed it there and had a great success and I mean I know it's great seeing your coaches um, have a, a success as well. What do you yourself want to get out of this? Um, right now I mean I'm doing this because I love it you know I mean it's a fun time I, I go in there and I have a good time and if I wasn't having fun doing this I really probably wouldn't be doing it but uh, I love getting hit in the face and coming back and hitting them right back in the face. I, I love defending the takedown. I love putting a dart choke on somebody. I love doing it all. I love defending. I love attacking. 
I mean, it's fun. It's just fun to me. It's, that's why I do it. And you do great at the media aspect because I know at your first fight, um, I had some radio interviews that I needed somebody to do, and you were the first one to volunteer for that. So I certainly appreciate that, and I was able to listen to those interviews, and you did such a great job, and you're very much a natural. Um, you know, I, I have some of these interviews where it's, it's more difficult because someone is just nervous or they're just not accustomed to talking and I feel like your voice is just so natural and um, just your persona is just so natural for these type of interviews. So, um, I do appreciate that. Oh, awesome. And I, I, do, I do know this for a fact because this is why I started the Rage in the Case media team is that um, you can have a fantastic record. But if you can't speak in front of the camera and sell tickets and, um, you know, it, it, it's kind of a mark against you when you're going on to yes. the bigger stages. And so you have I to be like able to promote yourself, right? I mean, I, I totally understand that. And uh, I'm lucky that that's one of the things that I'm good at because the talking aspect is the easiest part for me. I mean, somebody's still going to go in there and try to punch me in the face or slam me onto the canvas. So at least I can be good at this. That's great. That's the easy part. Well, and that's so odd because as uh, the young lady here behind the camera will tell you that we've had so many fighters today literally sweating bullets sitting next to me doing this interview and, 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 and they say over and over that this is the hard part. So um, I, I appreciate somebody like you that can, you know, really sit through an interview and, um, and you know, you, you sound so professional. And so I appreciate that. So let's talk about your training at Kudos and what brought you there in the first place and kind of what somebody could expect if they walked in the door there. Um, if they were to walk in the door there tomorrow, they could expect an immediate bond with Coach Wade Smittle and Coach Diego Pichalingue. Uh, if you're, especially if you're new getting into this, I couldn't recommend anybody better to just really take you under their wing and, and it's like a family environment, you know? I mean, Wade's done a lot for me and I really appreciate everything he's done. I couldn't have done anything that I've been doing without him or Diego Pichalingue, to be honest with you. So, if you want to come and learn some awesome jiu-jitsu or some awesome martial arts, kickboxing, uh, come down to Kudos Jiu-Jitsu. Your first week is free, so come check it out. You can imagine, I've said this before, how intimidating it could be for someone to walk in those doors for the first time. So hearing that from you, I mean, hopefully there's people out there that have always wanted to do it that finally get their nerve up and step in the door for that first time. Because I can imagine it's probably pretty intimidating knowing that there's, you know, trained fighters on the other side of that door. Yeah, so. you, you step into that gym and, you know, Eventually, you'll be ready, and Coach Wade will let you know he's ready, okay? You know? When you're ready, they'll let you know. I mean, they're not going to send you in there, and they're not going to let you go in there until you're ready, you know? They, they care about you, like I said, it's, it's a family, you know? So they're, they got your back. They got your best interests at heart. So tell me about this fight. Um, this is your second fight. It's your uh, opponent's, I believe it's his third fight. Um, do you train any different? I mean, you literally just got offered this fight last night, correct? Yeah. Last night, yeah, I had to kind of beg to get on this card. Me and uh, Jacob kind of set it up. He was having a hard time finding a fight, and uh, I wanted to fight, and I thought we'd put on a great show. I'm sure he thought the same thing. Uh, when I go in there, I go in there to put on a good show, and that's what I'm going to do. So, I mean, he needed a fight, and I was down for it. Well, and I mean, you guys had to do some begging, because I know for sure that we were already at 15 fights a yes. couple of days ago. and. Literally, Summer had a waiting list of an additional 15 fights um, of, you know, fighters that were wanting to battle it out on this card. But, you know, there's only so many fights you can put on a fight card unless you want to be there for two days. So, yeah. Um, she had capped it at 15, but you guys are apparently the lucky number 16 as we're speaking right now. So. They put on a good show, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have definitely had a lot of fun at Rage in the Cage. We appreciate you, the fighters, supporting us and helping us get to where, you know, we are where we are right now and the stage that we're able to lo uh, offer here locally. And, you know, it wasn't an easy road always. Um, Mike has been here. I can never remember. I think this is his 16th year as a promoter in Oklahoma. So you can imagine the early days when MMA wasn't big and they were in, like, you know, bars and, yeah. in, you know, um, parking lots of bars yeah. and that sort of thing just to be able to have a venue for these fights because, I mean, they're super expensive to put on. And so when you imagine you... You know, the venues, the commission, the ambulance, the, the, the promotions of the whole thing, and the fact that he stuck through a time when it was hard to stick through, and we now are where we are. And um, 
it's easy to be where I am right now and say, hey, we did good, but I wasn't there in the beginning. And so I always like to give a shout out to those. And there were many fighters back then that um, they had to go straight pro that you, it was really hard to go amateur back then yeah. to, to get many fights as an amateur because there wasn't a lot of fighters. Yeah. And so a lot of them just had to go straight pro and and you know you're still an amateur, but um, when you go pro, the level of competition is just so much more. And so a lot of those fighters back in the day, they spent many years trying to turn their records around. Right. So because they and had- then, And then at that point it gets rough too, because you have a hard time finding a fight once you take so many tough fights and, and your record might start looking bad. And it's, it's hard for promoters to often, and sometimes you have a tough time finding a fight, you know? So but back then it was probably really hard for those guys, I can imagine. Yeah, yeah, I hear stories all the time, it's fun. Um, if you're ever bored, go back through some of those early interviews um, from Rage in, the, Rage in the Cage from some of those fighters talking about, you know, how it used to be um, six and seven years ago, even um, when fights were a lot tougher to come by. And, you know, a lot of those fighters did have to go straight pro. So, um, interesting times. But, you know, present time, I'm so excited to see you in there again, June 14th. Um, can't wait. Any last words, any shout outs before we wrap it up? Uh, just shout out to my sponsors, uh, the Olsen team, real estate. If you're looking to buy a home, definitely get with them. Uh, you can find their page on Facebook. Uh, shout out to my sponsors, um, Patty Wagon Burgers on 36th and North May. It's delicious. You gotta go try that out. And just shout out to all my teammates at Kudos Jiu Jitsu, you know, my coach Wade, my coach Diego, and all my awesome teammates that are gonna help me get ready for this. Awesome. I didn't, I, I didn't even know that Patty Wagon was there. Is that the name of it? Yep. It's Did really good. I'll have to try it out. That used to be, you know, I went to high school right there at Northwest Class and down the street. I think it might have been a Whataburger maybe well, before or something. Well, I'm wondering if it wasn't um, 36th in May, um, if that wasn't where the old Big Ed's was. I can't remember. Maybe. I think it has, it has like driving stalls. Oh, it does? Yeah. Okay. Oh, well, there was a Whataburger there, actually. Yeah. I think that's so. what, what it was. Okay. You're Delicious right. burgers, though, <laughs> if, if we're still on that. Def definitely, definitely have to try that. Yes. So, thank you so much for coming out for pre-fight interviews and helping promoting Rage in the K66. Hey, guys, get your fighters from this guy, Caleb Nutty, or any other fighter on the card, or, of course, Subwire.com, and we will see you again June 14th at the Oklahoma City Farmers Public Market.